What's up, guys? RevSauce. Nine here. Make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the latest and greatest that comes to my channel. Make sure to be subbing. Make sure to be hitting the bell icons, all of that stuff. Hitting it hard. I appreciate you guys coming back and watching the wrestling reviews, the wrestling news videos, things like that. All my affiliate codes, all my streaming places are down below in the description. Guys, if you didn't see in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, West Coast time, Nick Nemeth, Ryan Nemeth showed up at NWJP, New Japan, Pro Wrestling, NJ, PW. Oh, my God. It was fire. I was watching it live as it was happening. Um, I was watching the New Japan World live stream. Oh, my goodness. This is fire. This is Dolph Ziggler that should have been happening in WWE. I, I love it. It is good for business. I feel Dolph Ziggler was wasted in WWE and we're going to get the true Dolph Ziggler here and now. So I am truly excited for this. Nick Nemeth, Ryan Nemeth. I want to see what him and his brother are going to do going forward. Attacking Fit Finley's kid. David Finley is best for business. He's going after the global championship right off the rip. Perfect. Have him in New Japan. Also, too, Nick Nemeth is possibly going to be in AEW with his brother, Ryan Nemeth. Again, you guys are the same very people in the IWC, YWC, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are the same that are like, Mercedes Monet is not coming. She is to AEW. I really think she's coming to AEW. Supposedly, the numbers for her contract is too high to pass. I think they're going to offer Buku money to sign with AEW. Also, there's rumors and speculated that she's coming with another person, supposedly Beth Copeland. So we're going to see how that all goes. We're going to see if um, Adam Copeland's wife, formerly known as Beth Phoenix, shows up. Uh, maybe it's Trinity. Maybe it's somebody we don't know. You know, again, two for one. I'm happy with that. Monet does not have to debut right now. Why is everybody going crazy? Monet needs to show up in AEW. They just gave you a huge piece of the cake with Diana Peraza. So what more? AEW is, is shooting from the hip right now, and they're signing people left and right. So don't don't get butt hurt because Monet has not showed up in the building. And why would they debut her at a place that's not, bigger than lights they're gonna want to put her in a situation where she debuts with lots of people not in a small confined place as new jersey no offense to new jersey but like you're gonna want to debut her in los angeles las vegas somewhere with a big crowd and, and making an impact like oh my god diana peraza the reason they did that is because that's her hometown uh new jersey's her home place that's understandable again like I said, Tony Khan is making moves. He's a chess player. He's he's playing a game of chess, not playing a game of checkers. Um, again, I think AEW is going to win out. I think they're going to retool their women's division with all this free agency. Um, I think they're going to bring in more and more people. Yes, they're ex-WWE guys, but you got to remember something. Dolph Ziggler was kind of in the in the uh, main event scene for a while there. And then he just jobbed out. And then they just, he just kept taking money. It's his own fault why now he's not with WWE. Now he has a chance uh, to finish out his career on the top. I think he could be a Chris jericho s type character for AEW. Um, I think him and his brother could win some tag team stuff in um AEW, I think he's destined for AEW. I think he's got the same contract John Moxley or a um, Chris Jericho has. I'm a, I'm making assumptions here. Um, you know, again, Monet, like you just got a big piece of the pie. You just got a huge piece of a pie handed to you of Diana Peraza. Let drink that in for a minute. Diana Peraza is going to show up. Then it will be Monet and whoever she's bringing in with her. Again, supposedly Monet signed inked on paper with AEW. That is the rumor and speculated. 
we all need to be patient. And again, for some of these people, oh, she's greedy. She doesn't need all that money. She was carrying the women's division in WWE more than Charlotte Flair. I think she deserves the money. I think she deserves Buku money. She's worth it. And I think you could build around her and whoever she brings in and make that women's division better. You got Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter coming back. The women's division, they're actually starting to focus on it. Tag team wrestling in AEW, they're starting to fo- They're getting back to their bread and butter. They have to. At this point, with MJF going down, with um, they got to. They got to start making emphasis. They got a big show coming up. You got Will Ospreay coming in. Okada's a free agent. AEW has the money to potentially spend shit tons of money and good on them to do so. I think Tony Khan got a fire under his ass because they're under a contract year for renewal of TV. They have to do what they have to do. And they've been big partners with New Japan Pro Wrestling for a minute. So again, this news article and, and Dolph showing up in New Japan Pro Wrestling, I was seeing this three weeks ago that they were working on plans to bring him into AEW. He's been in backstage with AEW and New Japan for quite a minute. He had to wait for his 90-day compete clause to end so he could do this stuff. It ended. Here we are. Dolph Ziggler, um, I've heard um, Ali looks ripped and jacked. Um, Dolph has a chance to end his career on a high note. I think he's got a good five years left in him. I think he could finish at the age of 50 and go into uh, being a comedy act if he wants to, doing what he's doing. I think he could do part-time with AEW and New Japan. He can make as tons of money as possible. Good on Nick Nemeth and Ryan Nemeth. I didn't even know Ryan Nemeth was um, was literally 38, 39. I didn't know that. So anyway, to wrap up this video, look, AEW is signing a whole bunch of people. There's a new revolution happening in AEW. They need this. They need these marquee names right now because they're trying to get a new TV rights deal. I hope they stay with Warner Brothers Discovery because WWE didn't really announce anything that was anything in importance. And it looks like they're not getting anything with um, uh, with Warner Discovery. Um, I really think AEW will be back on Warner Discovery. I think they will sign a new contract. I think Warner Discovery wants to go after, well, now with Paramount, with them merging, I think they want to go after the NBA and be the home of the NBA just like they are the NHL. And I think they can get AEW on the cheap. That's just my personal opinion. But again, Dolph Ziggler showing up in New Japan Pro Wrestling, beating the shit out of David Finley is best for business. He looks happy. He looks like there's a pep in the step. And this is what WWE should have been doing with Dolph Ziggler all along. Seriously. Nick Nemeth is going to be a champion somewhere. He is going to be a marquee name. Mark my words on that. Him and his brother are going to be tag team champions this year in AEW. Mark my words with that one. I think they walk into AEW as a tag team. They win the belts. They hold on to it for a while, either in New Japan or in Ring of Honor or AEW. I think it's a win-win for uh, Nick Nemeth and Ryan Nemeth. And they've been talking about this for a while. Uh, Nick Nemeth or Ryan Nemeth, his brother that's in AEW right now. That's why I found it funny that there, he, he's contracted with AEW. He's contracted for the next three years. I think three or two. But again, you get the point where I'm coming from. These guys could be important tag team guys. You could bring in Nick Nemeth later. Uh, you could bring him in to AEW. You could have him be a coach, producer, writing for you. He is a genius at what he does. This is what WWE failed with him, which AEW could pick up and do better. Let's see what they do. Let's see what New Japan does. Let's see what Nick Nemeth can do. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's a win-win situation. Um, again, I can't play the footage because this is owned by um, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Again, he bloodied up. Literally, looked like it looked like David Finley had a busted up nose. And this is best for business. And even Nick Nemeth was holding the global championship and saying, I'm here. 
he has got fire. It reminds me a lot of um, when Chris Jericho showed up in the building, the pain maker stuff. He's got the whole wanted dead or alive thing going on. If you guys haven't followed his stuff, he's using, um, I think down King, I think it is the same music that Cody Rhodes does the same band. That's going to be doing his stuff. He's going to be traveling Indies. He's going to be in a W trust me. He's going to be in a W. There's no doubt about it. His brother's in AEW and contracted with AEW. I think if it lifts his brother up and it lifts him up, they could be tag team champions. I can honestly see uh, New Japan uh, giving him the global champion. I could see maybe him going after the IWGP championship and things like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be an interesting ride with Dolph Ziggler. Uh, now Nick Nemeth. I like what he's doing so far. I uh, can't wait to see him in AEW, which it looks like that's what they're going for. I'll have both of these articles down below. Um, it looks like that's what they're going for here. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with Ali. I can't wait to see the futures of these people. So anyway, my name is RevSauce9. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And what do you think of Dolph Ziggler, um, a.k.a. now Nick Nemeth? What do you think him and his brother are going to do going forward? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.